Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of things here. First, we'll look at uh, where your XAF files go when you export a product um, that you can retrieve and use for any product you want. Um, you don't have to use them for what you derive off through the exporter. You can get the XAF files and uh, put them into furniture or whatever you want to do. So let's have a quick look at this. So for example, we'll open up the exporter and we will add some files in here. Let's add, say, these four here. We'll open these. We'll call this uh, pose pack one and let's export them. So you can see that it's already gone to create mode, so we'll okay that. Now what happens is when you export your poses that you've created in Pandora, it also creates XAF files for you. Now you've just got to know where they go, and they go in a very simple place, and that's if you go to your computer, and then you go into your C drive, you'll find a folder called Pandora V. And if you go in here, here are your XAF files and here is the pose pack 1 that we just created and there are your XAF files nicely created for you so you can grab these and put these into furniture um, uh, furniture spots and or change them over and do whatever you want so you don't necessarily need to actually put a product in your catalog so you know what you could do is you could go to uh, your documents and into your IMView projects folder and the pose pack one chicken file here, you could actually just delete that that you just created and not even use it. But then you still have your XAF files. So let's do this one more time. Actually, now what we'll do now, we've, I've shown you that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to edit an existing product that you've already exported from Pandora. So let's have a look at this pose pack one down here. Now, you want to get the um, product ID, so normally I would click on this pose pack 1 and it will bring up the uh, web browser with the page, but I've already got it open so I'll just grab it here. So if we have a look here, and we go to the top, you can see here's the product ID number. So what we'll do is we'll right click and we'll copy that, and we'll minimize this, and then what we'll do, we will go into create mode. Okay, and here we will uh, go to create and click on the create button. Once we are here, we need to open up the product that we copied the PID from uh, before. So if we click on Edit Product, and then we just click in here, and just hold down your Control key on your keyboard, and hold it, and then just uh, tap V, and that will paste that in there. And this is the product that we want to change the XAFs on, so we'll click on Edit, and that will open up the product for us. And then once it's open, we will go up to Actions, and here are the different poses, and down below here in Skeletal Animation is where the, po the XAF files are. So if we want to change one, then we would click on here, and this will actually bring up the, the assets, but we can here we can navigate to, um, to anywhere where we have our XAFs saved or stored. So, for example, we'll go into, uh, look, I've, I've just got one here on the desktop that I can open. And uh, then you would go Apply Changes. And that will actually be the next, it's just a little animation that I've got um, with a tool avatar. And then once it's in there and you've pushed Apply Changes, then it's a matter of just clicking Save and then upload and you'll be taken to your product card and then you just submit it um, actually I will show you just so you know we'll click on upload it will bring up the product card and then it's just a matter of submitting to shop um, I don't want this visible in the shop at the moment because I want to re-edit it again so I'll just leave that unchecked so you will click on submit to shop and that's it your product will be updated. Now what you want to do is if you want to get your product updated for yourself instantly um, you'll want to run the cache cleaner um, so that will what that will do is it will delete all your product info files and for cache files and then it will um, rebuild the new one and it will show you your update so just make sure that you always run the cache cleaner after you've updated a product any product um, and that will update icons as well so I hope that helps. Enjoy.